Hi, I'm Christy Flynn. And I'm Blake Rappenecker. And welcome back to Midwest Mortgage Mentors. So today we're gonna to talk about PMI, or private mortgage insurance. So have you been told that you have to have at least 20% down in order to buy a house? That's not always the case. There's this little thing called PMI, or private mortgage insurance. What it is, it's an insurance policy for the banks that allows you to put less of a down payment down. Um, it, it helps in order to kind of bridge that gap and it is gives the banks some security knowing that you know although you're not putting an ample amount down they've still got coverage and then therefore they can provide you with a nice attractive fixed rate loan so how is PMI determined uh, a bunch of different factors go into determining your PMI premium uh, your credit score is a big one your loan to value your loan amount and then your property type uh, so Christy, how do I pay my PMI premium? Well, you may have heard the term escrow. So typically private mortgage insurance is included in your mortgage payment and escrow we will be talking about in our next video. So when does it stop and do I have to do anything in order to get it to stop? So typically when your loan to value reaches 80%, you will receive a letter in the mail from your institution and you can request at that time to stop the private mortgage insurance or at 78%, it will drop off on its own. So stay tuned for our next episode where we will get more into escrow.